go down the pit straight once again. This is now going to be the best chance for Angal to have a move. He's right in the toe of uh, Karatsa. He must surely either goes to the inside line. I don't think there's much really Karatsa can do here on the brakes lane. Kokum is going to try and follow him through. Goes down the centre of both of them. Contact pushes Angal through. That helps him. And there goes the Beetle. There goes Donovan Barker. Really making advantage of that situation. Round the outside, another penalty for Kokuman too, but we're still looking at Barker and Karatsa. Karatsa trying to defend on the inside. Parker's going to have the inside with his right hander though. And there you go, the Beetle is by, up into fourth position. We've now developed into a three-way fight for the lead, and I wonder who's going to blink first. Again, Yamanaka looking to the outside, Gallo, as we've seen him, goes into the middle of the circuit. Yamanaka's going to try the long way around. I'm not sure he's going to quite get that done. Oh, Willie, he's got a good drive out the corner. Oh, Gallo, awesome defence there. Slides the car out in front of Yamanaka. Just nailed the throttle there. Gave Yamanaka nowhere to go. Oh, onto the gravel there. Just about gathers it back up. That's what happens when you break your rear left wheel on the gravel. And Gallo slow on the inside. Yamanaka's going to drive it all the way around. And Baptiste Beauvoir is there too. He might get two for one here. Gallo there in the middle. Baptiste Beauvoir on the right, forced onto the gravel. And I think Gallo might hold it. Beauvoir still there. Wow. OK, so Yamanaka came out worse there. But no, he comes back at the Frenchman. All action now, Tom. Very, very close indeed. Up the top of the hill in towards turn number seven we go. Yamanaka's going to be on the inside of Beauvoir here. Breaks later as the Japanese driver goes through into third place. Nicely done there. So Gallo somehow leads the way. And amazingly, it started in this formation at the start of this lap and it continues in this formation in the middle part of it. Yamanaka going to try and get the undercut there, switch back on Gallo, very nice, Yamanaka there finally gets Valerio Gallo after laps are trying, Gallo now is under attack from Baptiste Beauvoir having to defend there, a bit deep into the corner, Parks are on the apex though, and now Beauvoir has the inside line, surely now Gallo, those tyres have gone, he's just trying to defend for his life, he's not going to be able to do it, Beauvoir got there, Gallo onto the grass, oh he's oh, sideways, no. back on, oh just about avoids the drivers there, but that allows Minelli up into third, and Blatter up into fourth, Blatter oh, third. Oh, so so close on the curb on the inside there, that's going to compromise his drive flash, and he somehow manages to get himself ahead of Lucas Benelli. It's all action stations then with two and a half laps to go. Angal going defensive early, Benelli following him, using the toe. Coming down the T1, he's going to try the outside again. Can he make it work this time? That's side by side on the way in. Angal's going to keep that inside, keep that camber, forces Benelli wide. Now Kokiman's in there as well, so you've got to be very careful now, Lucas. You've got a, a master there on your outside as well. Coming through the stadium, Kokiman's going to try the long way around. Going to run out of road there, mate. He does, but then he keeps it. He's still trying around the outside. Kokiman, you've got to uh, give him a mark for effort <laughs> there, definitely. And a little bit sideways from Benelli, getting a little bit too. Enthusiastic on the front. This is a great fight. You can just see in the background there the two Brazilians of Benelli and Carazza going bumper to bumper, wheel to wheel almost, as uh, Carazza gets himself ahead. Here comes Blajan down the inside for the race lead, side by side in the final corner, and Patrick Blajan takes the lead at the end of the penultimate lap for round two of the World Series. They're side by side still as they come over the timing line. Then Yamanaka's on the right, Blajan's on the left. They're going to come down in towards the second corner. Blajan's going to have the inside line and more grip under braking, and he has the race lead. Strozer currently doing his best in that Porsche 911 to hold on to it, but Benelli's trying to challenge it up the inside. That's a late move there. It was a half-hearted one there as well because Inestrosa had kind of closed the door. That allows Kokuman to pull alongside on corner exit. Side by side, the Porsche versus the Mazda up the hill into the Schumacher S. Are they going to go two by two into there? They certainly are. Kokuman's got more grip on the pressure, soft tyres, and now Inestrosa's going right down the order because here comes Oliver Parker.